What's up, Badger Nation? I'm Sonny the Badger. And I'm Angie, Mama Badger from the Badgers and the Biker Lifestyle on Facebook and supportbikers.com. And I'm the crazy guy that came up with the world record poker grub 2021. Welcome. Happy New Year! Yeah, Happy New Year, everybody. And welcome to day, this is actually day, oh, I forgot now. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> um, it was day seven. Day seven? Day seven. Okay. Day seven. Um, we just talked about this August, <laughs> August 5th. <laughs> it was August 5th. It okay. was day seven. It was from Cheyenne. It was from Golden to Cheyenne. There we go. Golden Colorado to Cheyenne. And, um, what did Carl Cook say today that I thought was really cool? His Wednesdays are just better when you know that there's a new poker run video or something like something that. Something like yeah. that. So I think that's cool. We're excited to have you guys watching this episode. And we're excited that you guys are excited for our excitement. Yes, yes, yes. So as you guys know, we do this every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Um, Eastern time. It's a premiere, so we're in the chat behind the scenes. So be sure and chat with us. If not, be sure to leave us a comment. And, and we're only got a couple left. Yeah, yeah. So um, this is going to be um, some great scenery for you guys to see. It's going to be some stops along the way. It's going to be some stories about some breakdowns and some other great stories at the end. So I'm excited for you guys to watch this one. Are you okay? Because I know my poor honey <laughs> is sick. <laughs> and speaking of, we got to say this real quick. So if you guys didn't see an airbag in our Toyota T100 pickup truck, just randomly blew up on him yesterday. And um, he was wearing a World Like a Poker Run shirt and it literally left. It hit so hard that you can read the imprint of the letters on my chest. On his chest. <laughs> so you're talking about a World Like a Poker Run tattoo? That is a World Like a Poker Run tattoo. Yes. <laughs> I'm okay. Arms a little swollen, ears are a little hurt, but I'm okay. Right. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys are doing well and enjoy this video. Here we go. conversation with the gentleman behind the, um, the counter. We did have a writer go down yesterday. We've done some Facebook lives letting you guys know what's going on. Um, and Sonny's made his entrance. Um, today we did have to do a reroute already. Yes, right and early in the morning. Thank you to Brian Blacktop Devil Mudslide getting that to us. So that's what we were jamming to do. Um, yesterday we rerouted in the middle of our whole thing, which you guys seen that already. If you haven't watched that video for that day, um, but yeah, so we're we 
got, we're on a reroute to avoid a mudslide, but it should be a five and a half hour day, or, uh, so it's not a long, long, long day. And we're hoping and praying that this time we will actually get to a destination when we're supposed to get to a destination. Oh my goodness. I drank my Starbucks. Five to one? Yeah. <laughs> it was an uh, interesting ride. We went back and across White Mountain Road, oh, White Mountain National Park, three times. Yep. One time this way, one time back, and one time back again. Then we went across 82 in the pitch black dark, uh -huh. doing the twisty turnies. Uh -huh. We froze our asses off, right, Jessica? Yes. We got yeah. to a coffee shop, gassed up, and had hot chocolate. <laughs> we got, I put my long johns on, and she only got uh, hand warmers uh -huh. for her gloves, uh -huh. but we made it through and got there. Yeah, crazy. Right, Sheila? So you got to do Independence Pass. Yes. Yeah, at, at 10.30 at night. So yeah, it was very interesting. So little, right. like, little triple looks were well, running we saw, out. We saw deer trying to run out in front of us, like four of them. Oh, wow. Okay, so explain to me. When you guys got the reroute, where were you? At the we, gas station. At Carbondale. You were at Carbondale with Toby and them. Yes. They told us that we had to go back to get the reroute. Okay. So then you headed back to Delta to Mona Rose? You what? Peonia. Peonia, yes. We went down to Peonia, and when we got there, we were told that other people were going through, so to go back to Carbondale to continue on. You did? Who told you that? The group that was there when we got there. To Peonia. Yeah. Okay, so then you turned back around. And went back to Carbondale. Back to Carbondale, which, how far, we were at Lake and Delta, and that was 80 miles away from you guys. No, Delta's only really 29 miles. From oh, Carbondale? Oh, no, that Carbondale. No, yeah. Right. How far was Peony to Carbondale? Like 55 miles. 55 miles. 55 miles. Yeah. 55 miles. Okay. So, I mean, that's at least two and a half hours right there. With the twists and turns and the mud slides, rock slides. And then the, and the, and the uh, one lane traffic. The one lane traffic, so the three stops of construction. Yeah. So, it ended up being about three hours of, of back and forth. Wow. 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 Talk to See, that's what you get for leaving early. <laughs> talk, talk to our road captain, <laughs> Keith. Early. Keith, come on, Keith. Get interview Keith. Yeah. 
We <laughs> we did. It was only about nine thirty, right? Yeah, we didn't leave that early yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Earlier than us. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens? Well, you know, we're we, not getting the text messages, so. Yeah, I but, know. But the but the thing is, is you know what? As much as as much as that happened, you know. Look at all the other stuff we got to see. You know, the mountains, the you know, the valleys, the, the pictures. Yeah, but I wish you'd saw Independence, the pass at That's least the in the. One I'd love to see. Yeah. Freaking yeah. Wait until you see my pictures from this park. From this Million one. Million Dollar Highway. Yeah. That was fantastic. Oh, that, yeah. that highway, yes, that was beautiful. Um, what was the other? What was the first one we did? The. Um, Pig trail. Pig trail. Oh. Pig trails were fun. That was yeah. that was interesting. That was yeah. uh, that was my first. Arkansas. Um, yeah, Arkansas is great to ride in, guys. Yes. Yeah, that's not too far from us. Yeah. We should do a, a total patch ride. Patch ride? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, girls. Thank you. We got in, I mean, we got in pretty good yesterday. And we got in late. We got in like 10.30. Um, yeah. But, yeah, so we were like halfway through the route. And then they shut down the road we were going to ride. So Black Shot Devils scrambling actually left job to go home and get on the computer and get us another route. Yes, thank you for him. Subscribe to his channel. <laughs> yeah, go look them up, Blacktop Devils. They're all about really great rides like this. So, I mean, we couldn't have picked anybody better to do our ride yeah. back for. And the fact that he wasn't, I mean, I know he wanted to be on this trip, but, and I'm sure he would have made it work if he was on it, but, I don't know, it's kind of nice, but. Yeah, that we had him yeah. not on the trip to work on it. Yeah, exactly. Put it together. Because we know it's like how grueling this is <laughs> yeah, to be trying to ride. A little insider information for you guys. When a route changes, we basically have to sit down, get our computers out, go on the website, change it there, go on River, upload it there, go on Facebook, announce it there, go in and create a mass text to everybody on the route that has signed up for text marketing. Um, so, I mean, it's a mad scramble when we go to change. And then in addition, I'm texting as many people as I can trying to figure out, okay, who do I know who left early that's with a group of people that I can message? And then telling everybody, when you see other people, tell them. <laughs> it's a lot, but... We've done it. It's, we made it happen. That's right. It's not about, oh, boo-hoo, we got a route change. It's about, all right, let's get it fixed. Let's get it changed. Let's move on, adapt, and overcome. Yeah. And we've done that. We've had uh, at least three bikers go down. We had a pretty bad one yesterday. I'm going to let Angie tell you more about that because she's got more details than I do. Okay guys, I have with me John, and they say hoped, right? Hoped? Hoft. Hoft. Heft, paved, however you want to say it. <laughs> All right, so he's with the Tampa Bay Area Cruisers. You're riding with Micah, you're riding with James. Yep. You had Kat with with yeah. you guys. Yep, in the chase truck. In the chase truck. Yep. And then you got somebody else with you, there was a lady too, right? Yeah, Micah's uh, girlfriend. Girlfriend? Lily. Okay. So, all right. So you guys met us at Taco Bell. We had the route change. We yep. were Delta. Okay. Yes, we were. And then you took off. You guys took off to take the new route. Back to Mon through, yeah. Montrose, I believe the name of the Yeah, Montrose. Yep. And then up to Gen Gennison. And that's where right after, right before we got to Gennison, no, after Gennison. It was like mile marker 198, I think mom said. Yeah. It, well, I know there was the top of the mountain and there was a chairlift that went up. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw right that. after that. Yes, okay, I know exactly what you're talking about. All right, so you were riding behind James. Yeah, and I'm about like a half mile. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so riding behind James, come around a sharp corner, and you realize he's down. I, yeah, the first thing I saw was a motorcycle upside down. Upside down. Yes. All right, and I know the trailer, one of you guys, buddies, did he go on and try to get get help? Because there's no cell, cell, cell phone service. There wasn't any service there. No. Um, the trailer with the truck and the chase truck was quite a ways behind us. Okay. Um, so I had pulled over and I started 
helping, trying to get James to lay down and calm down. And, uh, so he was standing when you got to him. He was standing. He was standing up. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was standing up, trying to catch his breath. And then he'd fall down and he'd try to get back up, and trying to catch his breath and gasping for air. Yeah. I was trying to convince him to lay down and just stay down. Yeah. So, um, a young lady that was driving a car, she was pregnant, stopped oh, really? oh, <laughs> and really? asked him. You want me to call 911? I said, could you please? please? Because so many things were running through my mind. I wanted to make sure James was comfortable, yeah. make sure he wasn't getting up and hurt, hurting himself anymore or possibly hurting right, himself. Right, right. We don't know what, yeah, right. what's going on. Yeah. yeah. Plus, I was fumbling in my phone trying to <laughs> trying to get a hold of the people ahead of us and uh, the, the chase truck to let them know that you know, yeah. Yeah, we, we all needed to get back together. So. Yeah. All right, so they took him to the local hospital, yep. right? In Salida. And I believe that's an Indian. Salida, okay. Yes. And then from there, they airlifted him into a bigger, to a bigger hospital. They airlifted him to uh, Colorado Springs. Oh, into Colorado Springs. Yes. Okay. And then he got scans done. I'm sure. So we, what? Tell us exactly what he's got going on. Well, got, from what I understand. Um, they did well. They did scans yesterday at in Salida, and uh, he's got. They figured he had some fractured ribs, and he has fractured clavicle. Um, today they confirmed he has a broken clavicle. Okay. So they were doing some checks to make sure they were to find out if he needed to uh, have surgery. What about his spleen? You mentioned his spleen. Um, that's the reason they airlifted him to uh, Colorado Springs, is that uh, they, his spleen looked like it was maybe damaged a little bit or bruised or something, and they were just had a concern about that. They just wanted to make sure that yeah. it was okay. So then you and Micah stayed the night there, and then they hauled ass. <laughs> <laughs> and made it yes. to the card pool here in Cheyenne. So uh, first, we're, yeah, we went from Salida to uh, Golden. We ate lunch at Golden quick, uh -huh. hopped back on the bikes, and we made it here and in time for here. the card pool. <laughs> Crazy. So thank you, John. I mean, I'm so glad no. you were there. No, you don't thank me. Thank. And I want to thank the Badgers. Oh. You guys are doing a fantastic job. All the issues with apps or whatever it might be, that's <laughs> stuff that happens. Yeah, it's technology. Out of your control, so. Yeah. yeah. So thank my you. heart goes out to you guys. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, we're keeping James in our prayers. And um, I'll keep in touch with him. And you guys let us know what you guys' plans are. I'd like to know what you guys decide and what yeah. you're doing. Because yeah. um, you guys had plans to ride after Sturgis. Um, so that's kind of put a kink in it. So keep us yeah. updated. And um, well, the rest of you guys, I want you safe. And make it a Sturgis. Yeah. <laughs> All right? <Yes. laughs> okay, deal. We all do. <laughs> All right. Thank you, John. Thank you. Yep, now up there. Yep. Wow. On the side of the mountain. I think it might be. Yes. I'm not sure. I'm not a mountain person. Amy's saying yes. It is. Okay. Yeah, uh, Colorado is uh, no joke, guys. The roads are awesome. The views are awesome. We got some really cool pictures and videos we did yesterday on the Million Dollar Highway. So Des and Amy and I were singing 100 bottles of beer. That is long. beautiful. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that is, yeah. Right, yeah, and we were thinking just to just to keep our minds off the cold. So <laughs> times she was telling us that um, she finally got warm last night on the back of the bike with Chris, but then when she woke up, she, she looked over and there was a deer. <laughs> she scared her, and Chris was like, "Did you fall asleep?" Yeah. Just want to say too that you know Robert Truex was one of our veterans that went down in New Mexico and 
we had a room that was open, so Mike Moore has been tending, and this is cold. I, there's no way. And getting in late at night like we are, so we were able to get him uh, the room last night, and he was able to, he said he took two showers. Yeah, he said he took a shower <laughs> last night. It felt so good. He took again another one this morning. And so he got a good bed to sleep in, too. Robert, I know you're pissed off and you're disappointed. I know you want to be on here, but know that you made <laughs> you made the night just for another Fine. individual yes, on the right. Yes. Yeah. The Harley dealership, I need to look it up, look up who it is that's there in Golden, Colorado, because they owe us a huge thank you. Oh, we had quite a few people in their location last night and today. That's really beautiful. Look at, those, look at all those up there. Places up there. Oh. Those cabins. It's just so cool mountain Everything. Down. It's so funny, you know, we live in Florida, um, and it's, you know, definitely Floridian houses with pink and purples and teals and, you know, they hear everything so, yeah, everything's so rustic and right, all the wood, wood and, and rugged. Yeah. Right, because they're in the mountains. You got yeah. Rugged it's really mountains. cool. It's different for, for us. You know, if it didn't get cold, I would live here. If this had Florida's climate, I'd be a... Right. Because it's pretty. Anyways, as I was saying, like, Brittany and Fred were getting oil changes. Something's wrong with Slipknot, which Black Widow gave to him, and it's not been a great bike. Um, so they're, he's got problems with it. They're, they got to figure out. Another guy went through the mountains yesterday with no rear brakes. No rear brakes. Every guy had no rear brakes. And so he had he's like, I have just a very little rear brake left, so I was saving that for emergency. <laughs> I couldn't imagine. I could not imagine. That's scary as hell. So he was headed to the dealership today. Um, Poor Mike was at the gas station, and there was oil, and it was slick, slippery, and so he dropped his bike and broke part of his floorboard, so he was going there. Um, I mean, honestly, and, the dealerships all along the way should write us a big thank you card, because yeah. every town we're in... People are stopping at the dealership, they're buying clothes, they're buying chips, they're buying patches, they're getting their bikes fixed. I mean, yeah. yeah. The commerce, I would love to know the commerce that this ride has created from the start point to surgery. Right? I had a really good ride. All right. Even without headlights. Even without headlights. All right. <laughs> See that Harbor Freight light bar I put on there? All right. We'll go, we'll go take a look at this light bar we got on here. Guys, check this out. Look at that line of bikes. Is that not cool? Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. I'm gonna go through the lineup. I don't know if I know everybody's bikes or not, but baby badgers, the badgers, mine, Stevie's, Amy's, Amanda's, Tim's. Um, who's is that one? Oh, that's the Hicks's. That would be Doug's. Mike. Who's in this one? Is this the Shines? Yeah, that's me. Okay, that's James Maddox. Then we got. That's Kristen That's the the Shines. The Shunks. Dan and Michelle there. And Danny and Shelley. There you go, guys. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, so we picked up Danny, Becca, and Shelly. And we picked up 
A new rider I hadn't met yet. Rider number and where are you from? Number 62, Danny Stefka, Elias, Nebraska. Danny, how'd you yes. hear about it? Facebook. Do Facebook, do the Badgers? Yes. yes. Awesome, okay. What are you riding for? Is there a reason or? Uh, I'm just on vacation or I just, I retired December of 18, decided to take a trip. And so we come across Iowa, Illinois, Wisconsin, Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee, Georgia, Georgia, Florida. It's just a beautiful ride. Yeah. Beautiful ride. Do you know how many miles that was? Uh, we had about 2,800. 2,800 miles just to get to Florida. Yes. To, do, to turn around and go back. <laughs> <laughs> 145, Hay Springs, Nebraska. Now you were last minute. You decided to come on board with us. So what made you think, okay, I'm going to do this? Danny told me about it, and my brother died in a motorcycle accident, so I'm riding for him. And you're riding for him. 78, Shreve, Ohio. 78. Shreve, Ohio. Shreve, Ohio. What's your name? Larry. Larry? Wilcox. Wilcox. Look at the little mountain water running alongside the road here. It's just beautiful. It's a beautiful day. Yeah. And we're actually on time. Yay! <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. Hey. Hey, Amy. We're on time. We're on time at the end when it's important. It took us a little while to get there, but damn it, we've made it. We're on time for carpools. Which is why we're supposed to be. <laughs> I'm going to take a nap. Wake me up when they're ready. I think they're about ready. So that guy's got to lead us through. Dude found him. Hey, hey! Did you say hey, Sonny? I That's don't cool. know. I think he said hey, Sonny. Was he talking to Ken up there? Because Ken was up front. Uh, <laughs> probably. The days have all been burned. Yep. Fire. Fire. Water. I had it ripped across here. Huh? That bridge. It was oh, flooded wow. down here and all this, see all the, that was taking that bridge out. Oh, wow, look at all the flood stuff. That's wild. Hey, Des, have you been to South Dakota before? No. Uh -huh. No, I haven't. I heard the buffalo there that sometimes go across the road. I've seen the memes and stuff because of uh, doing social media for oh, okay. mom and dad, but I didn't. I've never been there, and I really don't know. So we were coming back, going back to our hotel one night, and it was dark, and we were coming upon the herd that was on the road, and I was riding with Josh at that time, and I took out my camera or my phone because I was going to take pictures, not realizing that my flash was on. Oh. And oh, um, oh. yeah, and a mama got separated from her baby. And we about went down. It was not a good thing. Josh was, let's just say he was not happy with me. <laughs> That's right. Do not pet the puppy cow. <laughs> All right, guys. I tried to turn the camera on when we come to pretty cool places. This seems pretty cool, so put it on. Look at this. Water's rushing down there with wall-to-wall -wall rock on either side. It's cool. Through a tunnel. Woo oh, yeah. Freaking child. Good cool place. Yeah. yeah. That would have been a place we stopped at if we weren't on that mission. Yeah. If we weren't doing right? this today, we'd have stopped there at eight. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. We were on one of our normal trips. Especially yeah. standing overlooked water. Anytime we can eat overlooking water, we're winning. Yeah. Hashtag World Park of Pokemon and stuff. <laughs> Looking forward to having a decent meal tonight, even yeah. if it is from a food truck. 
Yeah. But I mean, just like sit down and eat it, you know, have a whatever it is. Actually, have a dinner. Have a dinner <laughs> at a at a like a dinner time. When do, when's the last time we actually had dinner? <laughs> That's a great freaking question. Pizza? Yeah, but that to me, anything after ten o'clock is not dinner. Yeah. You know what's funny is I bought brought with me some melatonin so I could knock myself up at night, and I haven't had to take that. Oh. <laughs> I was worried I, I wasn't going to be able to get to sleep. Me too. I brought some Tylenol <laughs> again. Hey, Amy, we are yeah. your, we are your melatonin. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, it must have gotten so hot in my bag that it kind of melted away because they're. The ones that melt away in your mouth. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. So she'll be, she'll be licking the bag. <laughs> yeah. No, she don't need it. Remember, she lay down on that bed in five seconds. Whoop. <laughs> I don't fall asleep like that. I know you woke up so proud, of, like your whole plans were like. <laughs> ruined. I know. I'm like, I feel so bad because she woke up. She's like, oh no, I fell asleep. I was supposed to take a shower. I'm like, it's okay. It's okay. Just. Go take back one in the bed. morning. Go <laughs> back like, to bed. You can take one in the morning. So funny. Tessie's got you. That's the way I, I was. It was like every time I laid my head down, my eyes just rolled to the back of my head. Yeah. And I was done. Well, no, because I had just finished my work. Like, just finished. Shut my computer. Was reaching over to turn off the light. And here comes Amy. Whoop, right up. <laughs> so, Desi, are you done with school? No, tomorrow's the last day. Ah, tomorrow is? Yep. And then you're done. So yep, you, until get August to, 23rd. So you'll get to enjoy your vacation with mom and dad. So everybody, this is Carrie from Switchback Bar. Hey. If you don't remember, riding yes. with her husband, jumped on the back from Eureka, yes. and um, been riding with us. But she's got but something to tell us. We broke down right outside of Walden and sat there for three hours waiting for Triple A to come pick us up. Called them multiple, multiple times. Triple A sucks. Yes. My phone went dead. Andy's was waiting very patiently for his battery to cooperate. Well, we had this guy that worked on the oil field. He stopped to see if we needed some help. And we're like, we're waiting for AAA. He's like, okay, fine. Then he rolled back again and he checked on us and, and we're like, well, we're still waiting. He goes, I got a guy with a trailer and truck. He's gonna pick you up and take you to Cheyenne. That's so crazy. Yeah. Really, really cool guy. His name is Aaron. Um, he's now our best friend. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. So we got it here and then we had called you about like, Staying in the the run right, right. and heard that we had to be on a bike. Well, the guy borrowed his bike, so Andy yes. rode in with his bike, and so we're still in it. Yes. So, yes. Woo -woo, we're here. <laughs> they yes. made it. Yes. yes. So it. it was a hell of a ride. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but we're happy to be here. You're here. Yes, we are. Because I, when I saw that, I was like, no. Yeah. Yep. So. We made it. <laughs> okay. So go on Facebook, everybody. Look for a Switchback Bar. Boyum's. What is it at the end? Switchback Bar dash Boyum. Switchback Bar dot Eureka Springs. Okay. Is the actual link that you yep. that you yep. go to on yes. Facebook. And yep. hit that like button, guys, yes. and follow them so you can go to their location whenever you go through Eureka Springs. Awesome. We'll see you there.
if you can't ride, you can always walk on in. So I rode it here. This in is traffic at 10 miles an hour. Rick number 821. <laughs> the slowest riding world record run rider <laughs> to get to his carpool. Oh, 
this is an epic adventure like everybody says, and this is a once in a lifetime experience. What's your question, Splip? I think Brittany and Fred passed out. Brittany and Fred passed out? Yeah. So I've been in touch with Fred. I'm good. So we're good. Okay, sure. <laughs> so Fred and Brittany, I want you to know that these guys care about you. <laughs> so yeah. Get away from me! <laughs> Flip, why don't we do a little clip with you? Why? Tell me who you are, where you're from. Do you know your rider number? 121. There you go. All right. Can you give me a better number? <laughs> they last? Well, my, my daughter wishes she was 21, so like 121. <laughs> no. <laughs> what is hers? So where are you at? Where are you at? Uh, like, what, what do you mean? Like, Physically, literally, metaphorically. I know, we live in Florida. Metaphorically. So everybody, we always get asked, where'd you come from? But were you born in Florida? No. You have family in Chicago? No. No? I okay. live in Chicago. I'm, I, you live I in, have Chicago. in Chicago. Okay. All right, so I've totally bombed and missed all that, so tell me. <laughs> this is not the guy who called me Shane Tree Surgeon. No. Some guy's like, are you Shane Tree? No. We know are you're you not Shane Tree. No. You're Flip I know. <laughs> I know that. I very much enjoy making this. <laughs> I feel bad for because if I could keep doing it, but it's still funny. Yeah, who was it? Uh, my friend Amy. She asked if you were Sinister Clutch. <laughs> Randy, he's on this trip with us. <laughs> All right. So where are you at? Where Tampa, do you Florida. live right now? Tampa, Florida. So he's in Tampa, and he's got a YouTube channel. I do. And you can follow him on YouTube. You I just do. look up Flip Knot. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Screw the YouTube. Okay. I need 10,000 subscribers on freaking Instagram, so. Insta. Okay. So I can okay. do the stupid swipey up a thingy. Okay. That is the most aggravating thing. That's how far I am. It's, what is it, uh, 100, 235? I need 235. You can do it. Okay. Instagram, flip now. Just like the swipe up. That's the most aggravating thing. <laughs> Make a put them on entry. There's 17 things in there. <laughs> okay. Subscribe. I'm dramatic. Not subscribe. Too, all right. Follow on Instagram. Flip now, please. And then about six weeks, go to my empty store. Yeah. Because that's when I get back to Tampa and I get to do that again. Because so, I'm going to Born Free. And... I was going to say, so tell me about this trip you're taking with Mr. Born Jared Weems. Uh, we're going to Born Free. We're taking his two David Mann replicas. Uh, Born Free. The hot dog bike was originally made for Born Free. It was the first bike that got him back into motorcycles. And building motorcycles. And uh, when he told me he was going to go to school, Instead of going to Born Free, I yelled at him and told him to drop out of school. Uh -huh. <laughs> so now we're going to Born Free for three and a half weeks. Good. I'm glad uh, you did. So we're taking the hot dog. We're taking the hot dog bike to the hot dog stand that the guys are building and re. Uh, what am I looking for? Because I'm drunk. Uh, he's uh, refurbishing for the, the photo shoot, and then we're taking the Hollywood Run to the Hollywood sign to go take photo shoots. I found the exact site yeah. where what? like the angle and everything is freaking perfect. What? So I'm gonna be riding that thing down the street. You know, like yeah. Oh man! Uh, at one point, we're actually going to Kansas to go see uh, what's uh, Jackie, Jackie Man. We're gonna go meet Jackie yes, Man. His we'll wife. Two bikes and uh, yeah, yeah. David Man's wife. She's gonna go see the bikes. We're gonna go have a little meet and greet there, and then we're going to the Five Thirty Bikers thing in Louisville, Kentucky. In Kentucky, yeah. Uh, we're going to Tennessee to drop off Jerry's brother Mike. Ah. Uh -huh. okay. Barber. Then we're going to Born Free. Born free in no no not born free. Chopper Town, Chopper Town, North Chopper Carolina. Town. Okay, in North Carolina. So yeah, it's, this trip keeps getting longer. Oh my God, this is Reed, guys, for the guys from our live. Yeah, so, thank you. Super helpful. Yes, your bike that you're on right now. Did it. you take it to the shop there in uh, in Durango or in Golden? Golden? Did you? Take you didn't it? have time to look at it. But these no. lovely gentlemen over here at the Cheyenne High County, they were very nice. To very helpful. Yes. I also brought a well, lot. Any, of... Anytime we get to ride somebody else's bikes, we're always happy. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, I'm also going to say this. I'm really sorry, but I gave your uh, your service guys a lot of beer. Oh. <laughs> well, that's fine. Then you can't start drinking until 8 Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, 801. Yeah. 801. Okay. But, but... How'd it go today? Fantastic. How's the bike running? So far, so good. So far, so good. I can't complain. <laughs> All right. Give me name, 
your rider number and location where you're at. 96. 92. 92. <laughs> where are you from? Punta Gorda, Florida. An article all about the, this run came out there. Oh, really? It's in the newspaper. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, maybe we start? Yeah. Oh, what? Well, uh, Guinness World Record. Just, you want to be part of the World Record? You want to be part of the World Record? Record. And there's Holly with me and Michael, who just bought what? What'd you get you? Shirts. T shirts. Shirts. Did you get a poker chip? No? No. Nope. All right, so how's the trip so far, guys? It's been it's awesome. Great. It's been great. No we problem. No problem. No problem. No The, the, the rides. Well, I mean, I mean it's like from been the goofy, but Besides for that. We, yeah. we figured everything out. It, it's recording us on My Like You. My Like You is going, so that's good. Yeah. You're making it here. No, no worries. And the scenery. Oh, my God. I love it. It's just awesome. And the, Next time, we'll make sure we have a GoPro. <laughs> a GoPro? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, the it's only regret kind of, we have is that we didn't have a GoPro. And because we're both driving, we're not getting enough pictures. Yeah. Like, we've talked I'm with everybody. You. We're going to steal everybody else's. That's what I'm doing. It's a lifetime thing. Yeah, we wanted to go to Sturgis and, for a long time. And I'm like, this would be the most awesome way to go. <laughs> so, and we all were always looking for poker runs. And when we saw this one, I'm like, oh my god, a big poker run. Like, we need to do this one. <laughs> so. We, did, we had the time off. We decided to just make it work. All right, so oh. they are from Jersey. Nope. No. Hey, I'm Jerry. Poconos. 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 Um, writer number 68, writer number 69. 69. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so who have you guys been riding with? Well, we rode with Brittany and Fred. Yeah. And we've rolled up on and rode with for a while with a bunch of other people. Flip and John. John uh, Steven. Um, yeah, Steve and Corey. And other you said that, you'd break off and you'd Other than that, you know, gas. people break off for gas, we break off for gas, and yeah. we'll come up with somebody else and stay with them for a little while. Or we get on the highway, someone will roll up behind us and hang out with us. For a hang while. with you guys. But every evening, too, it's been a crew of us that we always seem to get together and talk about the day. So awesome. that's been fun, too. Awesome. Okay, first, we got Jason here, and he's going to give us the story on the cousins. So we Terry got Roberts. Terry Roberts, Leroy Roberts. So tell us. Bikes broke down, riding through the Rockies. Couldn't get their bike fixed. They had to turn around and go back to Durango, and they're still there now trying to get their bike fixed. So I don't know if they're going to be able to meet back up with us or not. So when we were in Delta, we stopped in Delta when we did the rerouting. Yep. So then they went back to Mono Rose. Had a, they couldn't get a room there, so they had to go back to Mono Rose and get a room. And now they tried to get the bike fixed somewhere, I remember where, and they couldn't get in, so they had to drive back to Durango. So did he literally ride, like, ride the bike back Very to Durango? Very slowly. Like, it was overheating real bad. It can't okay. It's overheating. So. Okay. So no, they're sure safe, but they're <laughs> no longer with us. <laughs> right? Okay. But you picked up a hitchhiker. This is Bumper. <laughs> okay. So now we got Bumper who hitched a ride with us. All right. You are from Missouri too. You live down the street from this guy. Right. This Southeast crazy Missouri. guy. Southeast Missouri. You said Kenneth? Yeah, Kenneth, Missouri. It's Southeast Missouri, the, the Boot Hill region, as they call it. Yeah. Yeah. So. What's what's in? What's down there? I'm four hours south of St. Louis. Home of Cheryl Crow. Cheryl Crow, yeah. Hometown of Cheryl Crow. That's all we got. That's, that's all right. we got. That's right. And watermelons. And watermelons. And watermelons. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and so, you the met, <laughs> <laughs> so you met up with with the guys yeah. in Eureka Springs. Sunday evening. Well. But then you rode to Texas. So you were in Amarillo? You got to Amarillo. Yeah, and I spent a day at a Harley dealership there. Uh, trips, Harley Davidson. At trips? From 9 a.m. to 5.30. Uh, had some issues with my bike. And Did I see you there? We got there to, we got our coin and everything. I was but there I all day long. So oh, man. I didn't, even, I didn't even know. Okay. So what was wrong with the bike? Uh, I still don't know. I, I have an 03 bike. It's carbureted, and it's it's bogging down when I throttle. It's intermittent. It doesn't happen all the time. So I really okay. Don't know. It had a bad sensor uh, flashing for a uh, crankcase uh, sensor. Okay. And they replaced that. And I got on the road and got maybe 60 miles out of town and okay. started doing it again. So. So do you have it here for them to look at? Or yeah, are you just going to ride just, it? Yeah, I'm just riding it. Just going to ride until we... spend another day at a dealership. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Okay, so the plan is to go with to us to Sturgis. Yeah, okay. I'm going, yeah. I'm okay. at home, too. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Yep. All right, cool. Thanks for joining us. You yep. just signed our guest book and got a sticker, yep. right? Yep. Okay, perfect. There he is. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, so uh, this is, from tell Texas, me your name. Justin Walker from Texas. Okay. My wife and I came in a road glide. Uh, we had a, a road glide limited, traded it here for a CVO road glide. And we're headed through Cheyenne for Frontier Days into Sturgis out of Texas. So, month in Colorado. And I recognized you from seeing your stuff on YouTube. Yeah, so did you know we were coming through here? No, or I did. I, I happened to see the, the poker run deal when I picked the bike up from here. So. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I'm glad you said hi. I got stickers for you, so give me I'll, a second. I'll, I'll give you stickers. I'll let you get them. Hi guys, thanks for hanging out with us and watching another day of this epic adventure. We actually got to eat dinner at a restaurant and sit down, which was great at a decent time. That was amazing. <laughs> and we got back to the hotel room and you guys didn't have carts again. Right, so I'm trying to check us in. I have Amy and Mandy who have stolen, stolen I'm telling you. <laughs> wheelchairs and are pushing each other through the lobby because they're going to use the wheelchairs to haul their bags up um man what an adventure and i know that there's video footage of that somewhere, <laughs> somewhere. i just don't know where it is <laughs> all right well i have something here this was a post that ken mears um moose mears as he goes on facebook that i just wanted to read real quick because i thought this was cool so he said warning long post I sit here in my room amazed at what we have completed over the last week. I'm ready for tomorrow and I'm saddened that it has arrived. I have enjoyed sharing the road with all of you. I have seen many of you and many of have not. I want to thank the Badgers and all the crew that supported us through this entire trip. We may not have had seen um, have seen the work, hard work, but it has been long hours for the crew and for that I thank you. I know that after tomorrow we'll be part of, parting ways and we'll go back to our lives. But... We will always share this common experience. And it's bittersweet as I lay down for bed one last night attempting to help break a world record. So I thought that was super cool. And then he went on to say that, um, so he'll be he'll be going to Sturgis and then go back to Denver to, to visit family, but then he'll start solo ride back to Pula, Georgia, which I know a lot of you guys, you know, you get to Sturgis and then you're taking off on maybe another adventure or you're just trying to get back home for work. And he said, so um, thank you for allowing me to be part of, of such a great adventure and all the hospitality that has been shown by all of those I encountered. Ride safe tomorrow and I look forward to seeing all of us arrive there and enjoy our last few hours doing the parade and event that are planned for us. This has truly been an epic ride. So I just thought that was really That's awesome. Yeah, yes. that awesome. was really cool. I don't know what we was going through all you guys' minds, but um, I know we were thinking this is the last day <laughs> and I'm um, being prepared for that and excited. Right. So guys, um, real quick, if you like this video or videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button for us. Um, you can ring the bell icon if you want to be notified every time we upload a video. Yes. Um, leave us your comments because Mama Badger answers them all. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, hit the, do the do the thumbs up, guys. You know, those things really help us out when we're doing videos like this and shows us that you're watching this. <laughs> right. That's it. That's how we measure, you know, if anybody's paying attention. So um, we really appreciate that. Okay. A couple um, of things. We will be um, asking you guys if you want to do little interviews with us because we'll have um, a couple of videos after this that will be like, um, summing up and just kind of getting you guys' stories and what we missed and weren't able to put into this, these videos. And also some exciting news is we will be doing um, Sturgis again. We've been asked by Woody and Marilyn at the Sturgis Buffalo Chip to help them out. Um, and so we were trying to figure out what way we wanted to do that. And we thought, why not do their kickoff party again and their parade? So into we are. That's so. what we're going to do. We'll be at the kickoff party. We'll have a big um, Badger Nation Sport Bikers meet up there. And then we'll all ride into the stadium again. So. And guess what? 
you're all invited. Yeah, come on down. <laughs> so come join us in Sturgis if you can. Please, please, please. We would love to see you there. If you can't, if you can help us out, spread the word um, or be part of it if you guys want to get involved. And also another thing I thought would be super cool is if you guys can do like a little video and send it to us and tell us like what was your experience at the chip? Like what did what was going through your minds? How were you feeling that very last day when we rolled into the Buffalo chip and we actually made it because we've all seen Angie's reaction. Oh, <laughs> me bawling. She's bawling down. <laughs> right. Yes. So, all right. Um, well, we're going to end this video with actually some words of um, from the road when right. we were on the trip um, this day. So here you go. And of course, stay to the end because I always have a little extra stuff. Oh, yeah. It's Merry Christmas. Bye. So anyway, I will say this much. Although so all of this has happened and it's been just a wild ride. We got to do this wild ride with 140 other people that every day we see them, they're like, thank you so much. It's been a great adventure. We know you guys are working really hard. And, you know, that helps. <laughs> yeah, right it in. does. It helps yeah. when they walk up and they're like, we know what you're going through. We see what you're doing, and we appreciate it. Yes, thank you one of you, everybody. I don't, I don't have had anybody come up to me and be like, this sucks, you guys suck. <laughs> I did tell them, I was talking to a couple of them, and I'm like, if you are cursing me, it's okay, I understand. <laughs> I'd be cursing me too. It's not about the destination. It's, it's all about, about the ride. ride. That was so bad. That was, that was lame. It's all about the ride. See ya. Peace out. Girl Scout. <laughs>